Hi guys, welcome back to another video and this video is going to be super exciting. Um, it's going to be a special Write Stuff haul and I did not include um, these boxes in my monthly hauls um, as of July or August because I just really wanted to dedicate a whole nother video to unboxing these and this is basically I think only half of what I ordered on Write Stuff the past month but the other two shipments have books that were out of stock, so unfortunately they're not coming anytime soon. I don't think so, at least. <laughs> so these two are all that we got so far, and it was torture waiting for um, this box to show up because this one showed up at first, so yeah, but I wanted to have both of them here for the video. So yeah, let's get um, right into it, and I kind of have an idea of what I've ordered, but at the same time. I'm not exactly too sure, so it'll be a surprise for the both of us. So let's start with a small package up top. Okay, I moved the big box out of the way, so now let's open this one up. Oh god. Sorry, I really suck at opening these type of boxes because I can never tell where like the box edge is. So I end up like cutting through the edge. There we go, though. All right. And last time my box did not have this thing. I don't know why, but um, this time they have it because I've seen this from other people's Write Stuff hauls, and this is so cute. I really just want to, like cut this part off of the box and keep it. <laughs> All right. Okay, I see the books. So let me remove this. All right, let's pick up the first one. The first one happens to be, hold on, let me shift that. Daytime Shooting Star. Yay! If you guys saw my last um, manga shopping with me online version video, you guys would have seen what I ordered. So Daytime Shooting Star Volume 1. And I really wanted to um, get the entire series, but my bank account said no, so... Oh well. <laughs> but now looking at this cover, it is so pretty and cute. And I really like the vibrant blue. And I already read this a while ago, but honestly, I kind of forgot everything that happened besides the guy being older than her, like her teacher, something like that. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure he's a teacher, yeah, <laughs> a teacher, and she's like living in his house for a while, and it's a really cute um, romance shoujo, so yeah, and I really love the shoujo genre, so yeah, wanted to pick this up, and this looks amazing. I can't wait to start reading it and perhaps convince my wallet to let me buy the rest of the series, even though the sale has ended and I kind of regret it. <laughs> but yeah, I love the art style. It's really unique. So yeah, there we go. Daytime Shooting Star Volume 1. All right. Next up, we have... Yay! Oh my gosh, I am so happy about this. This feels so nice in the hands. This book is so bulky and like heavy and the texture of it is superb. I felt this out of Barnes and Nobles and I was like, I really need to get my hands on this, um, both because I'm really interested in the storyline, but also because of the quality of the book. So Yen Press, good job. So here's the cover. It's a nice matte textured finish which I love for manga. And this is Kakegure, <laughs> volume one. I still have not, oh no. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like some dirty fingerprints right here. Um, I don't think it was me. I could be wrong though. Um. Well, I'm pretty sure this is wipeable, hopefully, so I'll just wipe that off after I film this video, but anyways, I have not watched this anime on Netflix yet. Um, I'm, I don't know why I'm procrastinating on it. I've heard such great things about it, <laughs> so I really need to watch it. And dang, the first page I turn to, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> 
And I know this is all about gambling, so yeah, super excited to see where this goes because um, this is actually such a unique story. This is actually such a unique topic to revolve around, like a gambling high school or something. So yeah, really intrigued. So volume one. And next up we have volume three. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with these covers. They're just so pretty and I bet the spines will look awesome on my bookshelf. Wow, the art looks fantastic. Dang. Okay, wow. <laughs> I really need to start reading this ASAP. <laughs> Alright, this is volume 5. Um, these are very out of order, but that's okay. This is so pretty. And all the books seem to be about the same width, so that's really satisfying as well. Alright. I'm going to skip this one because it's a different series. Next up is Kakegure Volume 4. Wow. I know I've already said this probably like four or five times, but the covers, man, I can't get enough. Alright, last Kakegure in the box. Volume 2. Dang, this girl looks so cool. It just emits very, like cool vibes <laughs> okay now I'm not sure if these are like fingerprints or just supposed to be on the book like dirty smudge marks kind of I really don't know if you guys can see sorry if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about but there's just these like random black smudges like very light though so let me know if your volumes have that as well or this is just something that's unique to my volumes but yeah, again, I'll try and wipe it after. I've seen this panel in a lot of places of this girl. Don't know who she is yet, but she looks super cool. All right. And the last book in this box is prison school okay i've heard many things about this um both good and kind of whack but yeah, i've heard it's just very humorous but it's a specific kind of humor so it won't be appealing to everybody but i just wanted to give it a try so i actually only got volume one and yeah and like i said in my last haul i really hate taking the shrink wrap off of um, books. I don't know. So I don't know when I'm going to take this off, but I will t probably take it off right before I read it and no sooner just to keep this in pristine condition. But yeah, excited to read this. This is a very thick one and the spines look absolutely amazing when they're all lined up together as I've seen on other people's bookshelves. And I've heard the anime is great as well, so I might check that out soon. And so that is it for this first box and I guess it's time to move on to the second one. All right, it's time for the big box. Super excited for this one. By the way, while I'm unboxing this, so many people have been doing such like funny like skits and intros for their manga unboxing videos. And I just feel so lame that I couldn't come up with anything. But yeah, so sorry I don't have some cool intro for this video. It's just going to be uh, me in the box. <laughs> wow, okay, they have pieces of cardboard. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, you guys can already see what's in this box. <laughs> I'm so excited and let's get started. This is already getting too exciting. I haven't had really big um, unboxings for a while now. I have like many small ones throughout the month, but I rarely have such a big package, so this is exciting. All right, so let's just grab the middle one. <laughs> this is One Punch Man 
volume 8. And so I picked up um, One Punch Man volumes 1 and 2, I think, last month. And um, I didn't start reading them, actually, but I already watched um, the anime. So, you know, I really love the story. I think it's hilarious. And I really like all the characters as well. And the art is amazing. So yeah, I don't want to spoil myself um, because I haven't started reading manga, but really excited. This cover looks so nice as well. Love the vibrant colors. I'm going to move this box back. All right, One Punch Man 15 is next. I love, love, love this cover. I've seen this cover so many um, places on like Instagram or um, other people's hauls, and I've always really wanted this. This is the cutest cover ever. And yeah, there's Saitama um, sneaking out the nose is um, the dog's nose. That's interesting. <laughs> but yeah, volume 15. And I love how um, Saitama can look so derp sometimes, but also really um, cool at other times. <laughs> All right, picking off one on the side. Here's One Punch Man, volume 14. Love the covers. And love the gold, um, gold font this time. Next is volume nine, One Punch Man. Love the green theme going on. It's been a while since I watched the anime, so I actually don't remember everything that happened so now I'm a little bit confused again because I don't quite remember who everyone is <laughs> but yeah that's why I should start reading this soon next is volume 10 love this cover as well love the ombre font and these past two covers the backs have been so adorable Wow, that's amazing. Next is volume 16, and sorry for that glare. <laughs> There's Saitama in the back. That's hilarious. Wow, this is such a cool cover. And here's One Punch Man volume 18. Dang, love this dude's hair. Wow, this is such a cute back too. <laughs> what is his face? All right, volume six. Sorry, these are all in hello whack order, but I really love the different fonts, different font colors going on. Really makes the series seem super vibrant, um, colorful, and this looks really nice. <laughs> oh my God, these covers are hilarious. He's eating a bento box. All right, volume 12. What a cool cover as always. Oh, and a cute back as always as well. All right, now I am trapped. <laughs> There's too much Kaguya-sama. <laughs> okay, let me move these. Returning back to One Punch Man. Here's volume 17. Here's volume 11. Volume 13. Volume 7. Wow, I really like this one too. Mm hmm, looks about right. <laughs> Volume 5. Oh, this is so cute. Alright, there are a couple more One Punch Man volumes. Volume 19. Oh, she's gorgeous. And last one that I see, volume 4. So I think I got volumes 3 to 19. I'm not sure if I um, got all of them for sure. <laughs> I wasn't keeping track. But... Oh my god, that is so cool. 
I just wanted to catch up with the entire series. So um, once it was on sale and right stuff, I was like, why not? <laughs> yeah. All right, next is Kaguya-sama. And I know that when right stuff had this on their sale, a lot of people freaked out and the bundles literally were out of stock in a, what, like an hour? <laughs> or a couple, I don't remember, but they were just out of stock really fast, but I still wanted to buy it because um, the price was just too good to give up. So I ended up buying the entire Kaguya-sama series or up to um, what's re what's been released, I think 14. So I got all of those, um, but only a couple came this time because all the other ones are out of stock. So hopefully they come soon. Um, I'm sad that I couldn't unbox the entire series here um, altogether, but it's okay, at least some of them came. <laughs> so here we have volume 14 and I love this series so much. Um, season two just finished, I think a while ago. And after watching the final episode, um, I felt really empty and I literally can't wait for the next. And if you guys know that one episode I'm talking about, the one with Ishigami, wow, that, that was such a beautiful episode. I don't think I've seen such a great episode in anime in a while or like rather emotional one like an emotional episode so yeah that was really great I really like the story and the music and the story writing um and the angles of the camera oh, superb fantastic okay well anyways here's volume 12 and also on reddit the Kaguya Sama subreddit recently has been like cleaning all the covers um and it's been looking great so I really love going on to there and looking at the cleaned covers Oh, oh no. Here's 13. I absolutely love these covers as well and the spines. Honestly, I find that a lot of the reasons why I get some certain series are because of the covers and the spines. Well, oh wow, this one is thick. This is volume 9. Oh, it's Ishigami and the President. Um, I don't know why he looks like he hasn't slept in 50 days, which is probably true. So hopefully he can catch up on some sleep and look better in the next volume. Oh my gosh, wow. This is such a cute, cute, cute cover. A group picture. These are my favorite types of covers. So yeah, this is so adorable. last but not least, Eleven, Hayasaka in the front, yay! People love her, and I love her as well. Um, she is so cool. And yeah, she's, she's a really charming character. Okay, so I realized I didn't flip through any of these, so let's give a flip. <laughs> Chika Fujiwara wants to be a rhythm. Oh my gosh. The art is hilarious and Chica is so adorable. I think all the characters are so well written and they have their own stories and personalities but that are really unique but are all super super charming. Wow. Oh my gosh. I hope this is not a spoiler or anything. Oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> but Dang, she looks so pretty. Wow. This is a life lesson right here. But yeah, this cover is so pretty. All right, so this is all I got um, in this video. I got a couple different series and some of them I just wanted to try out while other ones I just completely splurged. <laughs> so yeah, I'll we got Prison School. I'm definitely going to try that one out and see how it goes. And the One Punch Man, I thought I had gotten um, 3 to 19, but it turns out I didn't get 3 to 19. So I'm missing Volume 3. <laughs> um, so I need to get that in order to be caught up with the entire thing. All the Viz logos um, and the Shonen Jump logos are kind of bothering me, but it's okay. <laughs> At least none of the spines are really like out of place like my hunter hunter volume so everything's good and then we have kaguya sama 
yes, I love all the spines lined up. I just wish all of them kind of connected with each other, if you know what I mean. But then again, I also don't have all the volumes yet, so I can't really tell. And then Kage Grey, one through five. Love those volumes, love holding them in my hands. They're so like chunky and like just substantial. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the quality of the volumes. I'm pretty sure I like the storyline too. But yeah, Kaguya Sama just got this to mainly fill the void um, that kind of came over me after finishing um, season two of the anime. So yeah, I can't wait to get started on reading the manga after I get all the other volumes, which is one through nine, or one through eight. Sorry, these are out of order actually. And um, the lone volume of Daytime Shooting Star, really excited to start that one as well. But it would kind of be torturous because I didn't get the other volumes of the series, so yeah. Oh my, okay, sorry, I forgot to mention something. Um, some of you guys wanted to know about my thoughts on Right Stuff packaging and basically their overall service. Um, I have had nothing but pleasant experiences with them. I've only ordered from them, I think, um, three to four times in the past. So I can't say much, but every time that my packages do come, they come really safely and in pretty good condition. I've, I haven't had any issues with that. And um, I live in California while Right Stuff is stationed in Iowa, I think. So packages come to me usually in a week and most a week and a half, if I'm recalling correctly. But anyways, yeah, they use media mail, so it takes a bit longer than um, the regular shipping services, but not too long. I have not had um, dealt with their customer service because I haven't had any issues, so I can't speak on that part. But yeah, <laughs> those are my thoughts. Um, if you have any more questions, please leave them down below and I'll try my best to answer them as best as I can based on my own experiences. But yeah. <laughs> By the way, this is not sponsored by Right Stuff. I really wish it was, but it's not. <laughs> I have another one or two shipments coming in. I'm not sure when because they're out of stock, but one once they do, I'll be coming out with another video on that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short mini haul. Sorry it's not like one of my other 40 minute long hauls, but hopefully this was satisfying to see like large packages come in, but yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching um, and as always stay safe, stay healthy, hope you guys are reading all the manga you want and also keeping up with um, your favorite animes. So yeah, this <laughs> this stack is now so beautiful I don't want to take it apart um, and I can't anyways. Um, I'll give you guys like a real sneak peek of my bookshelf. Okay there, there it's in focus. Um, as you can see, it's pretty full. And then that Berserk empty spot next to the Berserk volume is the Berserk volume 2 which I'm currently reading, so yeah, so I really do not have much space and I'm really scared that my bookshelf is going to bend and snap. So I don't have anywhere to put these. I think I will just put them like this for the time being, um, somewhere against the wall. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. See you guys in my next one. Bye.